I like trucks. Since you're watching this video, pretty sure that you probably do also. The one interesting thing about trucks though is they make us money. And that is what we're gonna talk about today. Your truck, how it's gonna make you money. Hey everyone, it's Josh at Kenworth of Richfield. I wanna thank you for tuning in again this week as we're gonna talk about this 2020 T680. Now, I mentioned a little bit about making money and that's what this truck is set up to do. As drivers, as business owners, your goal is really to send money out there, it's gonna make friends and it's gonna come back to you. The fewer dollars that you can send out there and the more friends that it's gonna make while it's out there, the better, right? Well, this truck is set up for exactly that. In fact, Kenworth is very much the value proposition when it comes to return on investment. So we're gonna talk about the return on investment with this truck, whether it be driver comfort, whether it be fuel mileage, any one of those items. How is this an investment that is sending fewer dollars out there? They're gonna make more friends to bring back to you. So, let's get started like normal. A Little bit of B-roll, a little bit of music, and we'll dive straight in. Everything on this truck is set up to move freight effectively and efficiently. And part of that effective and efficient stuff is safety oriented because if it doesn't get there, what does it matter at all? So in this, there's the chrome cover on it to look good. These hood mirrors are here to help you see. They're also heated to help keep the ice off of them. Just behind that, the next thing we've got in line is the Bendix Adaptive Cruise Control Setup. Over this past weekend, I actually spent some time in a truck that has that system. I can really start to see why guys like this system. Now, I've heard some complaints about it. We're gonna address those in a future video. I think you're gonna find that information helpful. So do me a favor, make sure you're subscribed for that. Now, as we start to go back, the wire mesh grill from Kenworth. Bird strike, anything like that, like I've said a hundred times before, you're not gonna do damage to this. We've got the painted bumper here. Down below, we've got fog lights. Once again, this is in that safety realm. These are projector beam light. They really help you see farther down the road. In the same sense, we've got the normal projector headlights in this truck also. Seeing down the road at night. It's just, it's important, right? Under the hood, we've got a Packard MX-13 engine. There are a ton of things that I like about this engine. This one specifically, the fact that it's 510 horsepower and 1,850 foot-pounds of torque, well, that kind of helps. In that, the torque builds low enough that this engine will still run very, very efficiently. We're gonna talk a little bit more about the fuel efficiency later, but in all of that, you're gonna get more out without putting as much in. Does that sound familiar about the money that I talked about earlier? One of the other things that I love about this engine is it's a little bit more compact. It's only a 13 liter compared with another 15 liter that's available in this. So you've got a little more space in here in some areas. 
The biggest thing about that is you've got about 350 pounds less weight that you've got to carry around. Once again, that's either more weight you can put out back or just less weight that you've got to move down the road. Efficient, efficient and efficient. Now, as we look below the engine, we've got a 13.2 front axle and suspension. This truck, yep, it's running disc brakes on the front of it now. That is the standard for Kenworth. And we are to the point where disc brakes just, they make that much of a difference. Outside of that, Alcoa Durabrite wheels, 11R 22 and a half inch Bridgestone rubber. All of this set up to be easy maintenance, easy to go down the road, lighter weight, light on the wallet, and efficient. Let's go into a little more of that efficiency. Now, just in front of the front tire hanging below the bumper there, that's an air dam. That's gonna direct the air out around the truck. At 60 miles an hour, doesn't seem like much, but that little piece of plastic makes a huge difference in how air moves around the truck. The less air we have underneath the truck where there's all these rough surfaces to catch the air, the better. So in the same sense, when we come back here, we've got these curtain air dams. These once again keep air from going under the truck where there's all these rough surfaces for that air to strike. If you run over a curb, you should still be okay with this. It's once again set up to be efficient. This plays into that fuel mileage equation, which once we get behind me here, we're going to talk about that. We've got 120 gallons of fuel over here and 120 gallons of fuel on the other side also. Now on this back side here, there's room for an APU if you'd like to put one there. And there's a lot of great APU options out there. But when it comes to fuel, that's an investment. A lot of people look at it as a cost, but I think that's wrong. It's an investment. And when it comes to the aerodynamics of the truck, there's a lot of things that play into that. So with your investment, let's say you put three and a quarter, 350 a diesel in there. Do you want to go six, seven miles with that? Or do you want to go eight, nine, maybe 10 miles with that? To me, once again, if I'm putting $3.50, I want it to go as far as possible. That's why the aerodynamics on this truck, to me, are so important. So we've talked about aerodynamics for fuel efficiency. What about if we can talk about it for fuel efficiency and comfort at the same time? This panel down here, you guys I'm sure can't see it because of a white truck with a black panel in here. This panel is designed to keep air from going underneath the cab. When you get air up underneath the cab, once again, it's gonna be noisier because we've got all these rough surfaces underneath. And on top of that, that air will either heat up or cool off the cab, depending on what time of year it is. So if we can keep air from rushing past underneath that cab, why wouldn't we? This panel is designed to do just that. Now, it continues out back as part of the fairing here, because once again, to kick this air out and past the rear wheels and past the trailer, we've now once again added to that efficiency equation. It's just all thought through. It's all set up to make that return on investment. Now this truck has the Packar 12 speed automated transmission in it. When you drive this truck, you know it's a transmission that from the beginning was designed as, as an automated transmission. It shifts super smooth, really fast and really well. It's definitely a great choice for that. Now, the power that comes out of that comes back to these rear ends, 279 rear end gears in them. Once again, we can run that rear end gear because this engine creates its torque so low that you can just run right up on any hill that you want to. Outside of that, we've got drum brakes in the back, Alcoa wheels, Bridgestone 11R 24 and a half inch rubber.
All of that is held up with an AG400L four bag rear suspension. This truck has a power inverter on board and it's actually right next to the engine heater here. Now, if you notice, the one outlet is set up sideways like this. That is a 20 amp plug. If you need to adapt that to something smaller, most RV stores will carry that adapter for you. Now with this inverter set up in here, it's meant to power all your hotel loads and it will charge your batteries at the same time. So if you're parking the truck, plug it in. It'll keep everything topped off and ready to go for you. On top of that, if you're not running an APU, there's a lot more places now that are offering power hookups. If you can find one of those and plug in, you can sit for as long as you want to. This truck already does have an S-Bar heater in it also, so for those winter months, you're good to go. So as I mentioned before, there's space here for the APU, and once again, it's about that convenience which turns into efficiency and also turns into driver retention and also turns into more money for you. Here's the outlet for your s -bar diesel heater. But back here, let's say this truck's hauling a reefer. We all know that those batteries die all the time. Your jumper terminals are right here for you. Everything's hung from the spring for all of our airlines and electrical lines. On top of that, we've got those lights there for if you're hooking up to a trailer or let's say you need to work on a reefer unit, anything like that. We've got two LED lights back here. They're bright, trust me on this one. I do get questions on what these are. These are actually cab vents. The small B cabs, the 1.9 meter cab like the T800 and the W900, when you close those doors, especially on day cabs, it in many cases help to have the window open just a hair because those trucks seal really, really tight. This truck seals actually even tighter than that one. So what's here, these allow the cab to breathe a little bit. So when you close that door, there's a little bit of place for an air to escape through here. It's just that well thought out design where nothing is left to chance, nothing's an afterthought. Now let's take some time and talk about the interior of this truck because this, as I've always said, is where you're going to spend a majority of the time. In this, the truck you get inside, this is the standard interior in this. It's a nice interior. It's got the new black panels on the door, the new black dash panel. It's a sharp looking interior. One of the things that I also like with this truck is this does have smart wheel to it. Long hours on the road, just being able to work with the cruise control, work with the radio without ever having to move your hands. It's helpful. We've got the shifter for once again, that Packard 12 speed automated transmission is super easy to operate. And once again, the fact that it's right here by your fingertips is so handy. I can change the Jake brake from here. I can change what gear I'm in. All those things are just right at your fingertips. It's nice not to have to reach to different areas of the truck to do things, especially those functions that you're working with all the time, like the Jake, like the radio, like the cruise control. Now, this is the adaptive cruise control, as I mentioned, and now that I've got some miles in a couple of trucks that have these, I actually really like this setup. Now we're gonna go over that in a future video. So if there's some points that you'd like to see in that, by all means, let me know in the comments below. This truck does have the Nav Plus system to it. It's just all around a great tool to have in the dashboard. Not to mention, you could pick what gauges you want in there. On top of that, off to the right, we've got a full complement of gauges, whether it's oil temp, the second fuel level, drive axle temperatures, boost gauge, things of that nature. It's all there for you to see. Now, as I've mentioned before, this also has the Kenworth climate control system in it. It's an automatic system. My personal car does not have automatic climate control in it, and I'll admit it drives me a little bananas. In this, it's so nice just to set it to a temperature and go down the road and never have to think about it again. If it gets hotter outside, if it gets colder outside, it's just going to regulate the temperature for you. You never have to think about it. It's once again, it's all about convenience.
I've talked about some of these convenience and efficiency items. And the efficiency side of it, you can see where that plays into that return on investment. But the convenience side of it, how does that play into the return on investment? Well, as we look around the truck here, and we'll go back into the sleeper in a second, there's some things here to make it nice for a driver. But there's nothing over the top here. There's nothing frivolous. There's nothing that's just for show. It's really about comfort. Now, what's the return on investment when it comes to comfort? Well, if you're the owner operator and going to be in this truck, your comfort's worth something. And in the same sense, if it's worth something to you, it's worth something to any driver that may be in your truck also. This is a nice truck. Like I said, there's nothing frivolous in here. There's nothing over the top. There's nothing that's fancy for the sake of fancy. Everything in here has its purpose. But in a lot of cases, its purpose is to make the driver more comfortable, including stuff like the heated seats here. It's comfort. Do you see that return on investment on that? When you find a good driver, yeah, you sure do. Back here in the sleeper, this is this area that obviously you're gonna spend a fair bit of time too. And this is set up once again, nothing frivolous. It's all here for comfort. Take the refrigerator for instance. It's got the table here. It also has the passenger seat which can spin around so that way you can sit at the table in an actual chair instead of having to sit on the bed. Microwave spot, we've got the TV mount, it's got the 120 volt outlet there that works in conjunction with the power inverter. We've got your hotel center back here in terms of battery levels, your SPAR heater, heater controls as you're going down the road, things of that nature. There's lights, there's storage compartments. It's your typical Kenworth T680 sleeper. It's not fancy, but it's set up to work really well for you and to make you very comfortable in the process. This also does have the curtain that divides the, set, the uh, front and the back of the truck, and it's got a curtain that goes all the way around the front too. It's just set up to make being on the road easier, better, safer, and more efficient. That is how we're gonna make your money come back to you. To summarize it all up, I really do think that this truck is a great combination of what every driver would love to be in. It's got power and efficiency. It's got convenience, but not a high cost. To me, that's a great combination to get good drivers, stay comfortable on the road, be efficient on the road, and not put as much fuel in the tank. All in all, that's to put more money in your pocket, which, never mind. Any way you look at it, guys, I do think that this is a great truck. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And if there's something you want me to cover a little more in depth, we'll get into that. Next couple of weeks, as I said, we're going to go over that cruise control system. I've got to find the right day and I've got to find a day when I've got enough time to really take it out on the road and show you guys how it works. And yes, I'm gonna do my best to show both the good and the bad. But this one, I really think it's all good. So do me a favor, make sure you're subscribed. Please, please, please hit the bell so that way you guys get notified when we post a new video. I know a lot of you guys out there like Wayne, when you're out on the road, you just hit play and you listen to me as you're driving down the road, which Ask the missus, it would drive her nuts, but you guys seem to like it. So thank you for those of you that do that. If you think I earned it, by all means, give me the thumbs up. As always, stay safe out there. Keep it rubber side down. I'm going to catch you on the flip side.